Good afternoon, folks. We're thrilled to bring you the latest update on the UAW situation. And just today, auto workers at the first Ford factory to go on strike have spoken, and the news is promising. Members of the local 900 at the Michigan Assembly Plant in Wayne, Michigan voted 81% in favor of the four-year and eight-month deal, sealing their approval of the tentative contract agreement reached with Ford. Production workers voted at 81% to ratify the deal, while skilled trade workers came in with 90% voting in favor. And the momentum doesn't stop there. Voting at Ford will continue through November 17th, allowing even more voices to be heard. In another development, local union leaders from Solantis are convening in Detroit to discuss a tentative agreement led by the UAW President Sean Fain and Vice President Rich Boyer. If they endorse the contract, it will be presented to members in an online presentation. General Motors local leaders will have their meeting on Friday with more contract explanations on the horizon. The exact voting dates for GM and Stellantis have yet to be confirmed. Still, auto workers across the nation have made their voice heard. The tentative deals reached with the big three companies, Ford, GM, and Stellantis, offer significant pay raises and will exceed the 30% by the time the contracts end in 2028. At its peak, 46,000 union members were on strike, but now we see the light at the end of the tunnel as the strike comes to a close. The potential return to full production means parts and vehicles would become much more available and price adjustments across the industry should be less drastic as once thought. We are blessed to continue offering pre-strike pricing at all three of our locations, giving us the opportunity to best serve you as we move into the winter season. Stay tuned for more updates and the latest developments. Thank you for joining us at Bill Harris Dealerships.